people are so ungrateful to be alive. But not you. Not anymore. Game over. Grab the wall. Wiggle like you're trying to make your ass fall. Hell, I think I want to smash them all now. Uh, if you're new around here. Hello, my cool. Or should I call you Bushido? I want to play a game. Your obsession with the platinum trophy has robbed you of touching grass, blunted you from seeing the world as it truly is. I want to offer you a second chance, redemption. If you can get the platinum trophy in both Saw games, I will let you walk free. So pull out or die. Make your choice. Let the games begin. What is going on, crew? Here we are, our ultimate test to try to get both Saw Platinums before the movie Saw X comes out. I'm very excited for the movie, so I thought with the announcement of it, I would finally get to go and play these games. Well, about 50 to 80 Australian dollars later, and here we are, Saw the Video Game, which came out on the 6th of October in 2009, and it was developed by Zombie Studios. Now, the only guide I found for this one lists it as about a 3 out of 10 difficulty, which I say is pretty accurate, as well as taking anywhere from 8 to 12 hours, and there are missable trophies. So, now with that out of the way, let's get right to it. Oh, and they actually have the legend Tobin Bell in this, and I mean, God, his voice is just so iconic. Jigsaw is testing us. We start off in a room with a reverse bear trap on our head, and we have to focus on taking it off and escaping. Oh god, I'm about to die. Never mind, maybe you can't die right here. I'm not gonna lie, cause uh, I was doing something, bro. I was typing. Am I dead right here? I was lagging. That was weird. Darwin would be proud. All right, well, I meant to get that. Yeah, congrats, Ding. Let's go. Let's go. I meant to get that. Yep, that's right, Dominic. Easy clap. We're already one trophy in. Okay, so he tested the wrong guy because uh, I, I died a few times here, bro. It's so bad. There's a button? What are you talking about? Oh, I didn't see that. Bruh. There's a triangle button. You're right. Bro, first fucking try, boys. Ooh. After escaping our first trap, we go to the shitter and we dig our hand deep down in there through the syringes to find a key and escape the room. Before finding our first healing item and popping another trophy, we actually run into this guy here. His name's Jimmy and... Never mind, he doesn't really last long. We get two more trophies by running into Amanda and then grabbing our first collectible. Now our goal is to save as many victims as we can, so as we're learning the mechanics and making our way through, we're going to the first victim that we can save, and then we run into a bit of trouble. Bro, hit him! Fucking... Hey, I'm in charge, boy! Get smacked on, boy. And it was an accident. I didn't mean to kill him, bro. And Pipe Dream. Oh shit, he got... God damn, he got rocked. But we're going to make the mood a bit better by getting a bunch of melee-related trophies. With our rampage coming to an end, we have actually learned how to lockpick doors. And this is really handy because there's a lot of locked doors throughout the game, and doing our first one would net us a trophy. We come across our first victim, and we have to save her. The only problem is, it's a puzzle. And anyone that knows me knows I fucking suck at puzzles. The good thing is, I've actually managed to pull through on some of these puzzles. And we're gonna save her. At least I think so. Uh, I, I didn't understand that puzzle. We're actually at a puzzle I don't understand. And I'm really shocked that we made it this far. Then it goes... 
blue. And that should be the, the puzzle, right? We win, right? Boom, dude, my brain is like... Not really good at this at all. What do you mean I gotta go more? Damage goods. That's kind of fucked up, bro. Now my next trophy was just because I was full on inventory and I healed myself. I'm full? I may as well use one. Oh, you have to hold it. That's weird. Hey, just experimenting. We got a trophy. Now I knew Jigsaw was not gonna go easy on me. I mean, he already wants me to complete both Saw games, but I can use traps to my advantage. The only downside is when it didn't work like this, the other 99% it worked like this. Well, not to get ahead of myself. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! And speaking of head, this guy's got the right idea. I mean, he's wearing a metal box on his head, for Christ's sake. But we got the left and right hooks for days, and we just put in the work and got him down. Honestly, we are feeling really good, and nothing was going to stop us at this point. In this area, we kill our 10th Jigsaw minion for a trophy. And this actually worked out too because there's a lot of minions in this area. There's one for killing 20 and then there's also going to be one for curb stomping them. So, I tried to do the curb stomps. Uppercut boy. Can I? Oh! Oh! No, there's a quick time! There's a quick time! No! No, I didn't know it was a quick time! Oh my god, bro. I'm so triggered. No, not two at the same time, bro. I've never taken on two guys at the same time outside of college. What do you mean? What? What do you, what do you mean? I got him. Oh, you have to wait for it to go. I missed two. Oh my God, bro. It has to be in the fucking middle. I thought it was just a quick time. How is a quick time slow? That's called a slow time. Are you fucking dumb? Oh, let's go, baby. Curb stomp. Yeah, give me my trophy, idiot. 40 is six times the charm. Herb stomp, boy. I gotta do that four more times? That's fucking ass. Dude, I was reading chat so hard. Oh my God. I was reading Doomsday's comment. I got fucking pwned, dude. I did it the same day, bro. I can't just leave it. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> Yo, with how dark this game is, they need the caution wet floor signs, but with a giant fucking shotgun on it. But anyways, we get five curb stomps. This one single-handedly got like three kills on me. There's no actual fucking way, dude. Dude, I didn't even come. Dude, <laughs> I did come. Oh my fucking God, bro. Why was that trap still there, dude? Look, you see this door here? I opened it from the other side because it said bolted. And when I went through here, I just habitually ran left. Oh my God, dude. I don't even want to talk about it, dude. I don't even want to talk about it. So dick, dude. So far, we've saved Amanda, but now we've got to save Jennings. And he's in the pendulum trap. This pendulum is going to slowly go down until it slices him in half. So we got to prevent that by putting all of these gears in the right spot and making sure that they all align. And then if we do it in enough time, we can save his life. But more importantly, we could get a trophy. Bro, I'm trying, bro. Hold up. Ah, oh, fuck, dude. Fuck. Oh, bro, please. Bro, please. Bro, stop panicking. I got it. Oh, dude. Our next test, we're given a choice. We can either go through an area that we can see, but it's quite hectic, or we can go through one that we can't see, and all we have is a lighter, and we're surrounded by flammable barrels. Nothing surely could go wrong, right? 
can't see anything, bro. I was having a real great time playing Glaucoma Simulator, but I decided to go the sided route instead because I was fucking lost. Oh, because of this shit. Oh god, bro. What? Yeah, that lasted about as long as I do, about two seconds, and I decided to go back into the dark and try the lighter again. Oh shit. This is the entrance! This is just the entrance! Oh my god, bro. Why? Where do you go, bro? Oh my god, dude. I'm. Oh wait. I'm a beast. Wow. And guess what was waiting for me on the other side? They're fucking dicks, bro. They really give me the fucking torch after this. They give me the torch after, bro. And if that wasn't dick enough of the developers to give me a torch after being in the dark, well, we enter this room here, which the door shuts behind us, and then we pull a Patrick Star as we cough up our lung. I mean, listen to this guy. What kind of place is this? And to raise the stakes, we had to find a part and then do this puzzle on top of it while our health is going down. But we get a trophy for healing 20 times. We escape outside for some fresh air, and I get a trophy for killing someone with a gun. Oh god, the aiming is kind of dog shit. Now let's play a game, shall we? What happens next? A. Amanda shows up. B. I get the trophy. C. The game freezes. Or D. Jigsaw appears. That's right, I get the trophy! It's because I did it. It's because I did it for the trophy, man. That was totally calculated, and now I can fight him again, and he's throwing Molotov. So I shoot one out of his hand, light him on fire for a trophy. All right, let him cook. Let him cook. Now that's got to be the trophy. Wow, not going to lie, for a second there, I thought I was going to get... Now those traps can be demoralizing, but we're strong. We're gonna keep pushing on. Wait, what? Why is this getting triggered? Isn't this when someone's close by? There's nobody here. Isn't there a trophy to get? Oh, I got it. Hey, kill or be killed. I dipped away. He's mad. Dummy. You look kind of hot in that position though, bro. You're so vulnerable. What? After all that, we decide to go for one miscellaneous trophy here for using a trap once we get someone to low health. Oh. After we get that trophy, we get to save our next victim. This is Detective Singh's wife that, you know, it was kind of our fault that he carked it. But uh, we're obviously going to save her, though, because that's just that's just what we do, right? And she'll be, she'll be so grateful afterwards, obviously. Now, she's stuck in a trap called an Iron Maiden, and we have to do this sliding type puzzle to disable it. And... I've played Pokemon Crystal, man. I know the ice cave's like the back of my ass. I'm good. Oof. All right, if we saved her, it's all good. She's going to be super grateful now, and she's definitely not going to be mad. Melissa, I, I... Don't you touch me. Get away. All because of you. Why won't you just leave me alone? Just take it easy, okay? Never mind. She's actually upset at me. I wish you hadn't saved me from that thing. I wish I were dead, too. This is my kind of game, bro. Yeah, I like this game, bro. This game got so much better right now, bro. Andrew Tate moment. Look, man, I was hitting her because she was ungrateful, not because she was a whamming, bro. I respect whamming, bro. I was raised by a single mom. And if she ever got out of line, you know what I would do? Oh. Like stop, you <laughs> don't do that. Like what? <laughs> A few moments later. After experiencing karma firsthand, we find another minion that we can weaken, and then use a gas trap for another miscellaneous trophy. And we die too because we're trash. 
We make it to the next victim, and he's in the twist machine. And this thing's going to twist him so bad, he's going to be a fucking Twizzler if we mess this up. The good news is, they're these AIDS electric puzzles. And they get worse. And I've got to do three of them in a row. In a time limit. Yeah. He's lucky I'm good at guessing. Uh, I did it. I, I didn't. I wasn't even guessing. I definitely wasn't guessing at the end. As we make our way closer to the end of the game, I actually start actively looking at my miscellaneous trophies so I can make sure I grab them before we get to the finish. And here's a perfect opportunity. Boom! I might die too. I might die too. If I get the trophy, I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> wait for the boom. I had to be careful in this area. There was a minion with a shotgun collar, and if I stayed around him too long, then I would die to a shotgun, and I didn't want... I hate this game so much. All right, this one isn't fair. I saw what Jigsaw said, so I quickly went to step back and then disarm it, but it still, like, nudged me forward. Uh, anyways. I think all those shotgun blasts to the head finally got to me as I had to keep doing more of these puzzles at the end of the game, and my brain was just fried, bro. Regardless, we eventually figured it out, and then we found Avi, and he was inside of a furnace. The only way to get him out was to do these dial-type puzzles where we match up the pipes. We also had to do it fast before Avi was hotter than Wasabi. We do a Peppa Pig puzzle until we can open up a doorway before we freeze to death, and then we meet another victim to save, and his name is Jeff. My name is Jeff. Now, in order to save Jeff, he was on a board, and every time we would get the answer wrong, he would be stabbed with a rod before he ended up looking like SpongeBob. Now, in order to do this, we have to choose items that are similar. For example, a shotgun with shotgun shells or things of that nature. Once we were able to do all of it without getting too many wrong, we would be able to say, ooh, that looked like a fucking hurt. We'd be able to save him once we matched enough and make sure that Jeff's okay. And then again, more importantly, a trophy. We get a cutscene with the pig who shows us an electric cage that I'm assuming we have to use on her. So before she can kill anyone else, I make my way quickly to the... I find myself in a heated battle against the pig. What? What is this? What? Bro, what is this? And the best part is, I forgot about the electric cage. So how am I gonna kill her? Bro, I don't know what to do. I need the revolver, bro. For this long? Dude, what? What is this combat, bro? <laughs> violence begets violence. After that super intense, totally not dog shit boss fight, we have two options. We're right at the end of the game. We can choose freedom or truth for different endings. But it's going to take some time to really think about what I want to decide. And that's mainly because there's a trophy for waiting for five minutes just completely idle. So let's go ahead and get that. So after a long contemplation, we decide to go with the freedom ending first. And this leads us back to Detective Tap's apartment where he sees himself in a newspaper clipping and he's labeled as a hero. Never truly free a nice gold trophy however unable to cope we decide to unalive ourselves but before he can i reload my save to do the other ending so i'm the true hero all right let's go truth now boys now the truth ending actually has us chase down jigsaw so there's still some gameplay instead of just the cutscene. so we chase after him until we find out that's not even jigsaw bro and she's an idiot. I mean, look at this fucking moron. <laughs> Dude, who would be stupid enough to die to a shotgun trap, honestly? After all that, we learn the truth, 
and that the shotgun was the villain the whole time. And we got our last trophy. <laughs> Cost of the truth. Congratulations. The Saw Platinum, boys. We came, we saw, we conquered. There it is, boys. <laughs> You can get the platinum trophy in those Saw games. Whoa, whoa, hold up, Jigsaw. We already platted Saw 1, you know? I, I passed your test. Well, I'm not impressed yet. You have one more to go in the combat. And this one is booty crumbs. So good luck. You will need it. Here we are, our last and final test from Jigsaw to get the Platinum Trophy in Saw 2. Well, the guide says it's a 4 out of 10 difficulty, which I think it's a little bit higher, but mainly because the game is so bad that you will want to be in a real life Saw trap. That being said, thankfully it's only about 12 hours and it's got 3 missable trophies to look out for. So without further ado, we've got some trophies to get and we gotta pass this final test. Look away boys, I fucked up. Thankfully, we finally managed to escape, and we get our first trophy for getting a collectible. We found our first puzzle piece. Oh, and that's the trophy too. Start with the corners. I then decide to exit the game and do the Konami code for another trophy. Hey, old school. I then knock out two miscellaneous trophies for playing on Halloween and Christmas. I'm totally playing on Halloween right now. Totally didn't change the time on my PS3. It must be Saw. Now that we got some trophies and we're high on the dopamine, we decide to go exploring and... Ah! Yep, I'm out of here. Fuck this place. As I make my retreat, we come across our first boss battle. And this guy right here is not going to stop. And his hands are tied and he's so vulnerable right now. Why are you wording it like that, bro? Stop. I'm fast as fuck, boy. With that idiot out of the way, it's time to collect some more collectibles, and we gotta get seven Billy Dolls. That's right, seven. You boys remember saying Saw 1 has uh, the worst combat you've ever seen? Well, behold, the glory that is Saw 2. Aw, oh, bro, don't heal. You didn't even tell me how I fight. Hello? Oh my god, it really is this quick time events. Dude, the fighting got worse, dude. Oh my god, the fighting got so much worse. Do you think eight, tr eight trophies is enough to like say I did Saw 2? Now, the only thing worse than that combat is having to save someone within a time limit. So, here we are. I would not know how to do this puzzle, bro. Like, he's fucking dead. Yeah, ain't no shot you would ever be saved by me, bro. You may as well just blow up right now, bro. Peace. Peace. Okay, I think I sort of understand it. I... Did I do it? Oh yeah, he's out. You're free, bro. After a few tries, we finally save him and we get our trophy. But the problem is, I found out he was a therapist. Without the the. Trophy? Compassion. Hell yeah, man. After learning that, I had to restart the checkpoint and do what is right. Oh, dude, I'm trying, bro. My, my controller, bro. The battery died, bro. I know it's plugged in, bro, and it's always on charge. As we were making our way through the house, I just was happy that there was no shotgun traps. And a few of these caught me off guard, but honestly, again, no shotguns. So I was pretty happy. Now we came across this foot type path puzzle and honestly, I was a bit confused. I didn't see the TVs at the start and they told you sort of like what pattern to go in. So yeah, we weren't really having a good time, but we did get a collectible afterwards and popped another trophy. So it wasn't all bad.
Now we meet the second person that we can save, and honestly, we're good citizens, so we do our best. So we have to tell him the correct combination so that he's able to free himself from those razor blade cuffs. However, the wall in the back is covered with different combinations. Not to mention, I didn't even notice this at first. And let's just say it doesn't matter. He's in perfectly capable hands, man. I'm the puzzle master. I obviously didn't fucking understand the puzzle, bro. Low key, like, I don't even. Wait, what the fuck? Can I press this one? Or did I press this one first? Didn't I press that one first and it went to the thing? After cooking our main character so many times, I finally figured out that we need to use the numbers on the back wall. However, I couldn't find the other number. The writing on the wall? Yeah, but like, how would you know? Oh, I guess you like process of elimination, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Wait. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit, bro. Finally, we found the missing number in the freezer, which I didn't even fucking notice in this room. Yeah, we saved him, bro. You're free, bro. Oh, shit. He's not free. Bro, run. Run, bro. Oh. Like, who the bad guy again, bro? Am I the bad guy, bro? Why am I saving these people? We make it to our next test. Another victim to save. And this one is strapped to a chair with a gun in his mouth. But thankfully, we're here to rescue him. That poor son of a bitch. Now, luckily for him, the puzzle is really easy. You just have to get all of the lights to be off. And if you press them in a certain order, it might turn on other lights. So you just have to do it in the correct order. So that way they all turn off at once. And that's it. So he's in really, really good hands, obviously. 12 seconds later. He said you have to go down that elevator alone. Fuck that. We're getting out of here. We easily managed to save that dude, no problem at all. And then we get ourselves some new drip. Not really the drip I like, because if I make any wrong movement, Jigsaw can just blast my ass. Bro, what did you just say? I, I just said blast my ass. Nah, bro, that's still gay. No, you're gay. You're, he's gay. I'm not gay. He's gay. With the added pressure of a shotgun vest on me, I actually missed a collectible. So I tried to load a save from earlier and I got the trophy. Now, even though we had to restart, it actually worked out because we got another trophy. The trophy was for getting the fastest time on this lock picking mini game. And we'd have to do a lot of trophies later on for getting the fastest time on both difficulties. Now, even though this game is way worse than the first one, I have to at least commend them for making it so much more immersive. Playing this game genuinely made me feel like I was in a real life saw trap. I mean, my brain cells died and my eyes started twitching, bro. It's the How did I do that last time? It was like that, right? No, it was like... With the loss of brain cells, it was actually good news that the boss was the same fucking boss again. So no brain power needed. Oh shit, my man fucking dude, I get bodied on this fight, bro. Oh my god, I'm staggered. I'm literally staggered, bro. This is so dick. Bro, like he's stuck. Psych! That's oh god, he wasn't stuck. Number. Oh god. Oh my god, I gotta do it more than once. Stop. They did the default scream again, dude. No. Like, stop. Nice. Hey, now that's using your head. 15 tropes. I was starting to struggle more and more, and even Goonie was trying to help me. Dude, that electricity is so distracting. Goonie was giving me a foolproof method, however, my gummy bear brain wasn't absorbing it. And unfortunately, I was on this puzzle for like 10 minutes. Your method's actually like foolproof, low key. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I should have tried your method from the start. Like, I'm not gonna lie. You knew exactly what to do. <laughs> He's like, dude, that wasn't my method. <laughs> After proving that we're a god at puzzles, I decide to go save our next victim, who is in a tank full of water, and I have to quickly solve this puzzle while my anxiety is at an all-time high. 
But given that we are the God Gamer and we are doing these puzzles, like absolutely, dude, they're so trivial, man. We save her and we get a trophy, which is the important part, getting the trophy. Not even five minutes later, we find her asking for a fix, bro. Like, do you realize how hard the puzzles are for me in video games? And this is what you're doing with your life? And then to top it off, the game throws those fucking noxious fumes at me again, like from the first game, and that was kind of AIDS. Then it doesn't stop there because now we're being tested and we have to try to make it to the end with a box of explosives without triggering them. Fuck, is it on the other side? Fuck, 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 fuck. Wait, what? Oh, it's on the opposite side? Wait, what? I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Dude, move. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, oh, it has to be pulled again. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please. Please, no. Please, pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Oh. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, man. I'll be honest with you, I wasn't even tripping, man. Low key. After having a heart attack, we make it to the next victim that needs saving, Joseph. We're required to do a light puzzle here. All we have to do is match the lights with the corners, and once we've matched all of them, we would free one of his limbs, and we'd have to do all of that in order to save him. Look, we know how this ended, right? After a handful of tries, I did save him, thankfully, and then we started exploring this factory. And I honestly didn't even know there was another guy having his own test over here. And before I realized it, I got a trophy because he didn't pass his test. Then we cross paths with Miss Ungrateful again, and she fucking lays one into me. But it doesn't matter because she's about to get yoinked by the pig. You remember the pig from the first game? Well, she's back and stronger than ever. What's up, fuckers? Yoink. That's the least of our worries, though, because guess where we end up in? That's right, a fucking cage with the same enemy from before. They, they really like using this enemy, I'll tell you that much. We just got to get him in the electric fence three times. And it's done, deal banana peel. He's still not dead? Damn, dog. He's a tanky boy. Oh god. We got him. We didn't die though. Hell yeah. Hey, third time's the charm. Do you remember the dude we saved at the beginning whose hands were getting absolutely butchered? Well, Jigsaw decided he would turn him into Discount Wolverine and now he wants to kill us. Yeah, and re remember how I saved him? I saved his life? Yeah, he wants to kill me. Dude is an absolute donut. He can't even jump a gap, bro. And then he does some, like, weird... What is this, bro? Look at this guy. Managing to escape? We need to help Carla escape as well. So, we save her life. With my big... Like, stop, bro. You're trash. Is this where they, like, swap and I have to get him to, like... I didn't really understand. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? After saving so many people, there's only one thing left to do, and that's take out our biggest threat. And my god, this game is so bad. I'm so triggered when I watch this. How about I miss a collectible, bro? Oh god, it's fucking Baraka, dude. I have to run? I can't, I can't fight him? Bruh. What the fuck, dude? Yo, discount Wolverine. Chill, bro. Dude, this is so ass. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Wait. Oh, this is like completely scripted, like different. Bro, they actually put a collectible mid like fight sequence or whatever you want to call this. So while you're running from him, you have to go grab a collectible. Good thing he's an idiot and I would never lose to him. Oh shit, hardcore parkour. You wish you can get over? I slowed you down, bro. Wait, what? Does he come through here? Am I supposed to press that? I smell pennies! Let's get 
those ears off. What did he say? Oh, it's a switch. I didn't see that last time, bro. I just saw the pressure patch. Yo, come out, bro. I dare you. Oh. Yeah. Goodbye, Baraka. Hey, hands off. The more tests that we succeed, the closer we are to getting to the end. Does that mean I'm any better at the puzzles? Absolutely not. Handcuffs. Billy. Detective tap that ass. Money. Henry. I don't get punished. This is awesome. Or am I getting punished? Yeah, the red dots on the top. You can only get so many wrong. That could be, um... That cop dude. What's that cop's name? Joseph? Is there a Joseph, bro? Joseph. Jason! Oh, uh, bro, it's not Joseph? I, I failed. I'm triggered. Dude, who's the fucking handcuffs? Henry? Bruh. Is Carla the handcuffs? Awesome. Is Joseph the handcuffs? Joseph's the handcuffs. Okay, fucking hell. No, Solomon's not scale. Solomon's money. Oh, we did it, dude. First try. First fucking try, bro. Oh my god, bro. Does it tell you all the answers down here, bro? Awesome! <laughs> what the fuck, dude? It has all of the answers here. I hate this game, bro. All of that to find the answers at the end, and it didn't even give a trophy. But whatever, we're about to save another victim, and this will get us another trophy. If we don't burn alive first, and if he doesn't burn alive first. I should have pulled. Why am I doing that, dude? I'm an idiot. Oh, God, bro. Bro, pull it. Oh, my God. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. I'm trying, bro. Wait, where were the where were the nails? Oh yeah. Oh fuck, bro. Damn, bro. You should have said move me earlier, bro. Oh my god, bro. Oh, bro. Bro, I can't put you there, bro. You're gonna burn. You might as well be walking on the sun. Oh my god, what an annoying fucking oh my god, dude, really? Bro, sometimes, like, I'm watching this clip back and, like, I don't think I'm mentally there, bro. Like, just watch this punch. And then, what am I doing? Damn, he dodged his ass, bro. <laughs> like, what? That's so dumb. If you watch my first saw video, you know I am deathly afraid of the shotgun, so you have to quickly do this puzzle while also trying to avoid the proximity, otherwise you die. I'm dead. Oh god, that noise fucking made me shit my pants, dude. Oh, so close to the end now, but you know what? I'll let past me explain how I'm feeling right about now. I'm so sick of fighting these fucking guys, man. I'm so fucking done with it, bro. It's too much. Oh shit. Oh, I get him stuck and then I hit him with the bot with the thing. Dude, that's gonna be eight still. Boom. Hell yeah. Hey, Hedgehog's Dilemma. I missed everything you said, bro. I'm not gonna lie. It's a shotgun carousel, bro. That sounds so ass. Yeah, okay, just don't step in the red light, right? Ooh, what? We bobbing and weaving? Oh, oh, we bobbing and weaving? I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Bro, I was stuck! I'm waiting, bro. Oh, God, I waited too long. I waited too long. I think I actually waited too long. I don't know what to do now. Ooh. Oh, my God, navigating this thing is so dick. Oh, bro, please, please. No way, dude! Oh my god, bro. I was literally right there, dude. We'll dip. 
We'll dip for it. All right, we'll wait. We'll wait. Just inch our way. Inch our way. Oh my fucking God, bro. <sighs> Thank God, dude. Getting past my fear of shotguns, we would just have to do one puzzle to collect our final Billy doll for a trophy. There it is. We made it say 50 with the clocks and we get our final Billy doll. Then something crazy happens. They change the boss fight. I know this is insane. We're going nutty. And they make it to that bathroom over there. After shooting Joseph, we grab the gun and we go to shoot for Jigsaw, and unfortunately, we ran out of bullets. However, we're not out of dopamine because we get a trophy. Now we're at the final part of the game, and if you remember, at the beginning, we were playing a guy who had a key in his eye, and he had to make a choice on if he would let a random child, which is the character we're playing now, live, or if he would sacrifice the child so that he could live and walk free. Well, normally this game requires two playthroughs, but I read if you actually decide to sacrifice Michael for the first playthrough, you can then reload a chapter select, which would have a predetermined outcome, which could be the other one that you're missing, and then you can get both endings in one run. So I obviously wanted to do that so we can feed two birds with one scone. So we chose to sacrifice Michael, we hop in the elevator ourselves, and we say goodbye. We get a gold trophy out of it, and then this guy just goes and wastes what we gave him. is turn around and walk away. Go see your son. I can't let him live in a world with people like you in it! Ah! Bruh. After getting another trophy from watching the credits, I decided to reload the chapter, and this time it's going to automatically default to the other guy sacrificing himself. I can't remember his name for the life of me. But then we're able to get in the elevator and we escape as Michael. I actually wish we got a modern day Saw game with today's graphics and mechanics and stuff because the ending of this one was pretty promising even though the game was so shit. It just seemed like a really cool idea, but yeah, that ain't ever gonna happen. Jigsaw gives us the option to leave or become his apprentice and be the new Peppa Pig. And I think that's just such a badass ending. With both ending trophies out of the way, we would go to cleanup. Cleanup is basically getting the fastest times on all of the different mini games. There's quite a few of them, and then you also have to do it on insane and normal difficulty. So why don't we get to it and see how we went? 20 seconds, pause it. If I got the trophy. Oh, I did it, mechanic, let's go. Hell yeah. And just like that, using chapter select, we were able to smash through them all and get to our final one, where my brain was pretty fried by this and I was ready to get this platinum. So fucking ready. Ooh, what? Well, they'd all have to go down, right? Is this on insane difficulty? That seems kind of easy. As I just fucked it up, like what? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, I can't. Oh, God. That's got to go back down. Hold up. No, hold up. Oh, we did it. That's got to be the plat, boys. That's got to be under 30 seconds. Jury rig. Congratulations. The Saw 2 Platinum. Saw 1 and 2 done, boys. Ooh, that feels good, man. We finished it before the movie's out. Congratulations. 
Bushido, you finished my test. You are still a nerd, though, to those watching. If you are a real one, leave a comment saying, Game over. Share this or die. Make your choice. Special links to the Patreon and YouTube supporters. Yeah.